Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Teacher Anna Lu and I am an English tutor. Well, for today's video, I am going to share to you how to get to your COR and sworn declaration. question is what are those things well those are the requirements in order to avail lower taxes and if you are a newly activated tutor here in Ingu you have to comply the requirements within 30 days after activation of your account and kailangan mong i-comply ang mga requirements na ito First, certificate of registration or COR, and number two, notarized sworn declaration or SD of gross, re gross receipts or sales. Okay, so now let's go to steps in acquiring the certificate of registration. Okay, well, as for me and my experience, so well, it took me a while to process my COR because well, there, there was a time that I was so discouraged that I didn't know what to do and how to process my COR. And that's why I think that's the reason why I'm motivated to really share to you the importance of processing your COR. And then, that was a very long processing sa VIR. And, well, pero I realized that having 10% withholding tax or deduction sa matatanggap mo is a huge amount of money. Tsaka, masakit sa bulsa at sa puso ko yun. So, I think that was the motivation kung bakit ko talaga pinagtuunan ng oras sa pag-process aking BIR requirements for my COR and my sworn declaration. And aside from that, um, it is it is our obligation. It's our obligation as a citizen of the Philippines. Yeah. Alright. So, guys, in terms of um, acquiring a certificate of registration, ang unang bagay na gagawin, gagawin natin is to fill out forms. So, two cases ito. If you already have an existing TIN, just like me, I had my taxpayer's identification number already, but it was first registered in Domagete, um, and it ha it uh, it is a different RDO. So if ganon yung situation mo, you have to go to BIR first, and then you have to verify your DIN, and then you have to request for RDO transfer. Okay, it usually takes for three to five working days to be transferred. So, mas mabuti na ma-process ito agad kasi it is really necessary. Yeah. Before ka makapag-file lang iyong or makapag-acquire ng CUR, you really have to transfer your RDO to your current RDO. Okay. But, uh, if you don't have a TIN, you have to apply for a TIN by filling out form 1901. Yun yung kailangan mong i-fill out. And then, if kailangan mo ring i-update ang iyong um, yeah, information mo, kailangan mong mag-fill out sa form 1905 and you need two copies of these forms okay depending on your case now um, I would like to suggest if ever your house is near your RDO or BIR office I would like to suggest to go there to really make sure what are the requirements kasi I noticed that it, it varies in every RDO, iba-iba eh. And I think it will save you some time na like you you get the requirements na hindi naman pala kailangan. So, yeah, probably you just have to ask first to your RDO, go to the information desk and get a copy or a list of the necessary documents that you have to prepare bago ka magpunta ulit sa BIR and submit those requirements. So, yun yung aking suggestion. So, here are the lists of the necessary documents that you have to prepare. 
So first thing is a photocopy of your business permit or occupational tax receipt or DTI certificate or professional tax receipt if applicable. But I think the easiest requirement is occupational tax receipt. Napakadaling kunin to. Magpunta ka lang sa yung local municipal city hall or local municipal or sa city hall. And then, um, yeah. So, some are actually asking for cedula pa bago ka makakuha ng occupational tax receipt. But as for me, I just gave a copy of my contract, my Ingo contract, and then my my information using my ID. And tsaka, nagbayad ako ng 200 pesos. For occupational tax receipt, uh, iba-iba yun, depending on your um, occupation. So, yun yung in ko na requirements. Yes. And then, you will also be required to have a photocopy of your barangay clearance and then a copy of any identification issued by authorized government body that shows your name, address, and birth date of the applicant. Uh, for example, your birth certificate, your passport, driver's license, and pa ba yung... Uh, PhilHealth, um, SSS, Community Tax Certificate, or Marriage Certificate, if ever you are married. Okay, kailangan yun. And your details must be consistent. Okay, kailangan consistent ang mga details mo para hindi yun i ibabalik or like it will really take time pag nasabit mo to sa ingo tapos mali mali yung mga information na binigay mo so that would be useless. So, there must be consistency of the details or information that you have to provide. Alright, and then you will also be required to give a book of accounts or any journal or ledger. So, syempre, wala pa yung laman if you are a first-timer. And it must be stumped in BIR. So, it is better na bumili ka na ahead of time. Okay. I will show you a picture of this type of ledger. So, yeah, ma makukuha mo lang yan sa COD. Okay, and then, uh, you are going to pay 500 pesos for registration fee. So, mag-prepare ka ng 500 pesos and of course, payment for doc stamps. So, hindi naman masyadong malaki ang babayaran for doc stamps. Like, nasa 15 pesos to 20 pesos lang. And for your COR, kailangan ng two doc, doc stamps. And for your sworn declaration, kailangan din ng another two doc stamps. So, I prepare mo na rin yun. Okay, para hindi ka pabalik-balik. Oh, oops, wala na pala kong pera. Okay, so it is better to prepare ahead of time. And if ever all of the requirements or the documents are um, ready na and they are already complete, you have to proceed to BIR and submit those requirements. Okay, this is for the... 1901. So, nag apply ng uh, teen number. And I think it's the same thing kapag na, may na receive mo na ang iyong RDO transfer, yung may mga existing TIN. Kapag na receive na yun, you may now start processing your COR. Okay? So, that would be. It okay, so after submitting your requirements, and that's the time that you have to wait, you have to wait for BIR to give you your COR. Okay, so it depends kung gaano katagal, pero ngayon na observe ko that madali lang siya, isang araw lang, and then you are also required to, um, you are you will also, um. The BIR will stamp your 1901 and give you BIR form 0605. Ang form 0605, ito yung form na susulatan mo 
in paying your registration fee. Okay, yung 500 pesos. So, and then after that, after filling out the those information na kailangan mo, kailangan mo ring magbayad through BIR accredited banks for payment or I think pwede rin sa um, pwede ka ring magbayad through GCash. So, but um, yeah. So, pwede yung pamaramaraan na ganon. So, uh, after paying, of course, kailangan mo ng Form 0605, you have to go back to BIR and you have to surrender the receipt of your payments together with the BIR Form 0605. Yan. And then, you will also be required to attend a seminar uh, for you to know your duties and responsibilities as self-employed taxpayer. So, dito mo malalaman kung anong, ano yung mga babayaran mo, what type of taxpayer ka, um, ano yung mga responsibilities mo, kailan ka dapat magbayad. So, yeah, kailangan mo yung malaman para naman um, wala ka ng excuse na nasabi na hindi ako magbabayad. And I think you can also yeah, you can learn a lot of things naman dun. Sometimes it can be boring, but make sure that it will be an opportunity for you to learn something, di ba? So, lastly naman, uh, you have to wait for your BIR RD, uh, RDO to issue your COR. Okay, once na makuha mo na ang iyong COR, um, mas mabuti rin naman na uh, during that the same day rin, you will uh, also process your sworn declaration kasi madali lang naman. Okay, so yeah, in making a sworn declaration, you have to declare if you are a loan payer or a several payer and um, your tax duty. So, again, there are two types of sworn declaration which you have to choose. So, kapag isa lang yung company mo, of course, you have to use loan payer. Pero pag mix ka, mix income ka, marami kang, company, marami kang companies or sources of income, so you have to fill out several payer. Um, as you can see, makukuha mo yung sample document from Ingo Tutor's page. So, dun ka sa help. You can see uh, an official form or link for sworn declaration and also a sample form or link for sworn declaration both for loan payer and several payer. So, dito... Uh, makukuha mo na yung mga details na kailangan. Make sure, guys, that your information, the information are consistent. Okay? Para hindi yun ibalik ng ingu at uh, saka it will might take you time to process everything. Like, paulit na, paulit-ulit na lang. Okay? So, kapag um, yeah, na perm, uh, you already inserted those um details na kailangan sa sa BIR din kailangan ng doc stamps uh, before mapermahan actually ang yung sworn declaration by the attorney kailangan din niya ng doc stamps dalawa lagyan ng dalawang doc stamps and then papermahan mo yan for sure meron ding babayaran yes so if you will go to your yung, your local attorney lang, medyo maliit-liit lang yung babayaran mo, babay, babayaran, babayaran mo compared to private attorneys. Okay, so after mo makapag um, magkaroon ng perma or a stamp sa iyong sworn declaration, you have to submit these requirements both sa iyong company, which is for us, sa Ingu, you have to submit uh, 
them like a, a scan or a picture. Ang ginagawa ko picture lang yung isinasend ko, but I make sure that the pictures are clear, the details are clear, tsaka walang uh, natatakpan ng mga information, lahat ay klarong klaro. And aside from submitting a photocopy or a, a picture of it sa Ingu, dapat din ako mag-submit ng copy sa BIR. I think this is a different office na. Kailangan ko submit both my COR and sworn declaration. Just a copy of them. Don't give them the original copies. Yeah. So, for your COR, once na meron ka ng COR, magagamit mo na yon next years. And kailangan mo lang mag um, register ulit. Okay, I think you will register every, no, no, not register, parang renewal lang every year and you will pay another 500 pesos. Pero hindi mo na uulitan yung process mo na magsasend ng mga requirements na yun. You just have to uh, uh, submit your 0605 and then pay one uh, 500 pesos for it and then another sworn declaration for the renewal. So guys, so guys, um, once and for all lang ang pagkuha ng COR, not unless kailangan mong i-update ang mga information na needed. Alright, so, questions. So, meron mga questions na tayong, meron tayong mga questions na sasagutin. First question is, um, well, what if I will not be able to process these documents or uh, will, or late submission? So, well, you will be taxed 10% as what has been stated in the BIRRR number 11 to 2018. However, please consider that once you submit this uh, within 30 days after activation, tax can be as low as 0% to 5%. But for the renewal naman, usually the renewal occurs, uh, ang deadline yan is January 15. 15. So, make sure to um, have your renewal sa COR, re-registration ng COR mo, at saka mag-submit ng SORN declaration para ma-avail ang lower tax rates. So, that would be it all right so hopefully it helped you guys and if you have some questions don't hesitate to to ask questions naman and i will also do my best to research for you if ever i could help and yeah and thank you so much for watching my videos i hope that you will enjoy teaching here in ingu kasi wala kang babayarang withholding tax kasi you've done your responsibility to comply the requirements sa BIR ng COR at ang sworn declaration. Always remember, it is a two-sided relationship. Hindi pwedeng i-blame mo sa Ingo lahat na, oh, bakit ang laki ng withholding tax? Well, well, maybe you also forgot to do your responsibility to comply to the requirements. So guys, thank you again and have a great day. God bless you. Mabuhay!